back for the attack like Dokken. Killer questions, foe that ass. Next! All right, so Kimo Raman. Great questions, especially that last one. All right, here we go. Comes from the killer bleep, 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 666. Top five directors of all time, horror and non horror. John Carpenter, Agreed. Michael Simpson, um, mm -hmm. John Hughes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good call. Judd Apatow. And. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith, yeah. Because Kevin Smith did I'm going to take movie. out his, his one, uh, Michael Samson Simpson, or whoever. Michael Simpson. Michael Simpson. And I'm going to put in. Hmm. John Carl. Well, yeah, yeah. Sean but, uh, but of all time. <sighs> I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, I, I, I gotta stick one more in there. Adam Green? No. I gotta stick one more in there on my list, and I don't give a fuck. We're doing six now. You're the triple six guy, so we're doing six for there the devils go. out yeah. there. Wes Craven. Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Francis Ford Coppola. That's what I was thinking. So those are all great ones. If you could create a slasher villain, what would his or her choice of weapon be? Mask and their motives. Well, we can tell you their weapon. That's all we can give you. Because everything else, it'll be a little too much leakage. Um, the mask, I will say we already have. Mm -hmm. From a goth in cloth. Right? No. No? No. The other one? The other one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's for the other one. Yeah, that's the other one. That's for the different one. Um, I think that was uh, Deepwater 909's mask. Um, the motives, I can't, That that's like the big one. I can't really do that. The mask is secretive. Although, if you do some digging in our older episodes, you'll see which one I'm talking about. Um, their weapon of choice is really going to, there's not really going to be a weapon of choice. I think I, I, I want I want like the, hands. yeah I like I like the multiple weapon factor yeah, really not just one so is that bites off Freddy Jason Leatherface and Michael a little yeah much. yeah um sorry we couldn't give, give you more give but me, yeah give you a little more uh the Terminator series or the Predator series well they both kind of fell to crap hmm Terminator yeah yeah I'm gonna say Terminator. Terminator 2 was bad. Predator 2 was it was all right, like but it Terminator wasn't bad. The best, yeah, though. well, yeah, of course. Arnold is the bad guy. Yeah, couldn't fuck with that. Do you agree that Jigsaw is a horror icon and up there with the ranks like Jason, Freddy, and Michael? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Do uh, you agree about that? Yeah. No, I don't agree with I that. I don't. And let me tell you why. Jigsaw is dead, and he ain't ever fucking coming back. Nope. Jason, Michael, and Freddy are all come back. They're unstoppable. This guy didn't even take a bullet. He died from smoking too many Lucky Strike non-filters or whatever the fuck it was. Um, is he methodical? Yeah. Is he terrorizing? Sure. Is he brutal? Yeah. Yeah. But Icon? Not yet, buddy. Not yet. Well, we'll see. Time will tell. Would you like Chrome Skull to be supernatural in Laid to Rest 2? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. But I can see the potential. Mm -hmm, but but not. it's too early. Too early to call. Gotta do a couple more. Crone Skull versus Michael Myers. Who would win in a bloody no-holds-barred fight? Michael Myers, come on. Who would rip that Crone Skull right off his fucking face? I'm sorry to Quick. say. I mean, Crone Skull's a badass. We agree on this. But he'd probably shove it up his ass. It could be. Could be, but, I mean, after seeing Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2... The brutality Myers had in that one? I know what he would do with the camera that sits <coughs> on his shoulder. Break that across his face. I know that much. Yeah. I'm, I'm now, Chrome Skull <coughs> probably get in a few good licks. Don't sure, get me wrong. Sure. Especially if he was in that car and he got to hunt him down and maybe run him over a little bit. Kind of soften him bit. up a little. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But Overall winner is going to be Myers. Yeah, just like Hulk Hogan in the 80s, Myers will prevail. There you go. <laughs> right when it's all done, Myers. Yep. Flexing and posing and <laughs> ripping apart pumpkins. Crazy shit. All right. Uh, top five, or your top five, favorite moments from each of the main horror franchises. Hellraiser, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Friday the 13th. Wow. And you want five apiece. We can't do that. 
That's just too much, too much. Favorite moments? Yeah. From every single one of those? All right, I'm going to say Hellraiser 1, the rebirth of, uh, what's his name? Drawing the blank. Shenard? No, not Shenard. Uh, the Frank? Frank! Yeah, thank you, Frank. Fucked Frank? Yeah, his reemergence, that was bad. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, all day, Fre uh, Freddy's dead, when he cuts himself out of Jesse's body. What, you mean uh, part two? Yeah, part two. Did not I say Freddy's, Freddy's dead? dead? Yeah. I'm sorry. Freddy's Revenge. The one that we get shit for liking. The one we, yeah. So, hate it. I don't care. Halloween. Fuck. Doll. Halloween 1 from start to finish. Uh, Daniel trapped in a laundry chute in Halloween 5. Mm -hmm. Michael Myers driving around that classic Camaro just running everything over. Yeah, with that, like, that one mask from those old school. The awful creepy mask. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Friday the 13th. Jason gets the iconic hockey mask. Yes, Jason getting the hockey mask. Sliding down the blade. Axe chopped to the head. They're, they're, dude, they're, there's... Getting the dude walking on his hands. Killer... Axel. Killer Triple Six just wants us to dedicate a whole killer questions for his ass only. <laughs> That's apparently. what we're thinking. Oh, man, there's a lot of them. All right. Well, let's move on to the next one because cause this is awesome. What was the best sex you ever had? When and where? Well, now we're talking... Everybody, everybody. Yeah, everybody is. Perfect. Um. Wow. Shoo, man. There's. If you understood our kill count. Yeah, I, I have to plead the Barack Obama on this and give you a no comment on that one, buddy. I'm not going there. I'm not. Um. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Now, there's, there's a. Mm -hmm. When I worked at the Ice House, uh, which was a strip club, uh, New Year's Eve we had a live sex show. And uh, I was the uh, the uh, tab A going into slot B, if you will. <laughs> so I was a whore, basically, oh, because shit. money was just being thrown up on stage. And I just, you know, it, it was awkward. It was awkward. It's like, it, it, I knew how the, the animals at the zoo felt when you walk by and they're getting it on, like two meerkats up in the corner just kind of looking at you, pumping away. I felt like the meerkat. I really did. But at the same time... I was like, I can't wait for the grand finale Bukaki on stage because that dude has to clean it up and I fucking hated him. So that was funny. Um, but that was a good time. So uh, on stage before a live studio audience, kind of like the old school uh, Welcome Back Carter type scenario. <laughs> um, another one was when I, I got this VIP dance at another club that I worked at and, uh, you know, him was playing softly over the speakers and such and uh, I'm telling you the power of him compels you and it compels them because she just did a pull to the side whip out the Oscar Mayer wiener truck and started going down the road bro I'm here to tell you it was a great fucking day to be an American oh, a great day to be an American it really was oh, man. Um, and, you know this, these are just off the top of my head when I lost my virginity of course that's the greatest one right there that's the first shot that's the uh that's the, uh, yeah, that's the baptism by fire right there. Um, mm, 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 mm. Ooh, this one time with my ex-wife, we were at her cousin's uh, wedding, yeah, in Prescott, Arizona, and the, it was like an old theme, old west type thing. There was a a wagon there with the hay and everything in it, and I just pulled oh, off to the side. People are walking by and everything, and they're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Going on a hayride," and I'm just, you know. Pumping in a sweating on the uh, on the old wife there. People are walking by, have no idea what's going on, and and I was telling them what I was doing. They're all, <laughs> oh Carl, you nut, and they just you know <laughs> kept going. So you know, oh, there's, there's shit, a lot of them. Man. I could write a book. I Son really could. Bitch. But that's all we're gonna do for now. Okay, well, Triple K has a couple more if you go up. So you might want to fucking get down on those. Does he really? Yeah. See him? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's get some more dedicated Killer K six 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 show here here we go got one more are you still doing the phone jack thing calling into the show well if you check the other episodes we're working on that so yeah that is going to happen in one form or another are you guys still doing the sent the same question twice all right so that's it for him going back to dream warrior what about eversaurus what about it oh i'm sorry eversaurus is 13 i'm sorry you both ranked Halloween Resurrection last on your Halloween list. 
So I was wondering, do you really hate that movie? Like a movie you can never watch or will watch from time to time? Because everyone hates on Halloween 8. I find every Halloween film enjoyable to watch. I agree. Every Halloween is enjoyable to watch. I do like it. The only thing is is that Busta Rhymes shit. And that's, the, that, that's the least enjoyable to it's watch. It's the least so, enjoyable. But I'll watch it from but time we'll to watch time. It. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch you it. You watch it too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every once in a while. Because there's some well. badass kills in there when that one dude gets it right through the head. Oh, yeah. The oh. American Pie Boy. Yeah, American Pie Boy gets it right through the head. So, I mean, it's a cool movie. It's just that whole... Even the concept is cool. We're going into the Myers house and filming the internet reality show. Everything was cool about it, except one sideburn per cheek fucking Buster Rhymes. I'll tell you what. That movie, even with Buster Rhymes' stupid ass, would have been so much better if Tyra Banks would have got gutted all the way through on camera. And that was another thing, yeah. They let an actress tell him what to do. No. You don't do that. No. So, also, now that Rob Zombie is announcing his new movie sometime soon, we know that we will get a new get new people for Halloween 3D. Who would you like to see write and direct? Actually, it's still up in the air with Rob Zombie doing Halloween 3. Yes, this is true. We're waiting. This is very um, I know I don't want to see Todd Farmer write it. No. I know that for a fact. I didn't like Jason X. I didn't like the story behind that whatsoever. Great kills, but why did it have to be on the Starship Enterprise? I don't That's know. all I'm wondering. It's just 400 fucking years in the future? I mean, if you go back to Friday the 13th Part 7, Todd Farmer is that fucking weird-ass kid talking about Starlacon and fucking Mummy from the Stars and only two humans are left in a higher galaxy of highly evolved protozoans. Good, huh? That's Todd fucking Farmer coming up with these ridiculous fucking ideas and somebody actually signed his fucking check. Yeah, this is true. The only good thing about that movie is he actually gets killed on camera by Jason. Yeah. But I don't want Todd Farmer writing it. I don't want Todd Farmer writing horror anymore. No. Period. You want to write sci-fi? Go fucking write sci-fi. Have a ball. Got your back. Write a new fucking Star Wars movie. I don't give a shit. But get the fuck out of horror. Yeah. My Bloody Valentine? <laughs> was shit. Jason X? Crap. Yep. Now you're gonna try to do it to Halloween? The last staple of sanity and horror? Yep. I'm, I'm sorry. And, uh, direct? Mm -hmm. you know, as long as it ain't one of them platinum doom bitches, I'll be pretty good to go. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah, that's what it's what it all comes down good to. Good question, Never Sources 13, man. <laughs> Might as well shoot on over to another episode for that ass. We got a lot this week, man, and I'm glad. Glad, 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 glad. So we're gonna shoot on over.